Hey guys, it's Rec here. And a lot of you uh, were asking me to create a video about this. So those are the proto hats that I have. This one for the card pewter and this one for the stick. And I'm gonna show how I created both. So the first one, this one for the stick. This is not a project that I've created. So you can find the more details about this one in the GitHub of Incursio Hack. And I'm gonna leave the link down below. And the connections here, you can also find in the Bruce repository, there's a media folder with the connections. So it is pretty much the same thing that you would uh, you would have to do like if you want to connect directly to here. So you would use those GPIO ports to connect like the CC1101 with wires and two more wires into those uh, G32 and G33, you would have to connect here. So the idea is the same but let me open here. Uh, let me take off the screws. And the other one. Okay, so the first thing you would need is this case here. It's a proto hat from M5 stack. And it comes with a, uh, a board that you can sold, uh, solder pins here. So it just it takes the GPIO here into here and you have access to the GPIO here so you can create connections. So what I did here was to buy a connector like this one and I soldered here and I soldered the wires here to connect to the pins that I need. And I got the Grove cable here and I, I put it in here and took just the white and yellow ones and soldered here. So it's just like an extension. So the same thing I would have to do here, I'm doing here, the connections. So instead of putting a wire into each pin here and connecting to a GPIO, I did the same thing here with the connector. So each pin of the connector is connected to a GPIO here and the other two to the Grove cable. So it's just to make it easier to like just put it in here and the Grove cable I connected here and everything is ready. So I just need to take the CC1101 and put into the connector. And the idea is the same for card pewter. So let me put this aside. And the idea here is the same. But for the card pewter, we don't have GPIO pins. So we need to retrieve from the SD card. So because the SD card uses the same protocol as the CC1101, the SPI, we have here uh, CS, MOSI, MISO, and SCK. Uh, and we re retrieve those pins here from the SD card. So you take off the card, you put this in the slot and you have access to those pins here. So I have here uh, VCC ground and uh, clock. And I don't remember which one is Miso and Mozzie, but we have the connections in the GitHub. But the idea is the same. You just take the pins you create the connections here to the connector. This, this is uh, five by two, but 
4 by 2 is okay because that's what we have here in the CC 1101. And you connect here. And I added a Grove connector that I bought as well. So I soldered the pins here and two connections to the connector, the uh, 2x5 connector. So the idea is the same. So instead of just having to plug wires, uh, it's much easier when you have connectors like these. So it's just a matter of putting here, uh, taking the CC1101 and putting into the connector and a Grove cable you connect here. Like you take this and you put the Grove here and the other end you put it here. So everything is ready. Okay guys, that's all. I see you in the next one.